The 75379 Buildable R2-D2 was released March 1st of 2024 and was a part of the first 25th anniversary wave. It was one of the first sets to contain a 25th anniversary minifigure, that being the exclusive Darth Malak minifigure, but it wasn't the only minifigure included. It also had a very detailed R2-D2 and contained 1,050 pieces. The front of the box obviously shows off the two minifigures and the very beautifully built R2-D2 on the sands of Tatooine. Turning the box to the side, we see Darth Malak displayed in a really nice way. Now, something I did notice is that not every 25th anniversary set did this. Now, as we can see here, we obviously have this one, which follows the same pattern here, but the Infiltrator does not. And I think the simple reason for that is they only did it on taller box arts as you can kind of see here, this has a lot less room to show off the minifigure as this one does. So I think they just couldn't fit it on these kind of thicker, chubbier boxes because it just mess up the rest of the box art. But I don't know, that was just something cool to kind of point out. Now, something else cool about this box art is on the back, R2-D2 is no longer on Tatooine. It looks like he's in the hallways of the Death Star, but that's not too important it shows off some more features for r2d2 we can see that his third leg can be removed as well as some other features included we also see the information plaque included with the r2d2 now taking a look at the minifigures just off the top of my head this is one of the few buildable characters that includes more than just the character itself it also has the exclusive figure that being darth malik the Darth Malak minifigure is absolutely stunning. He is on the 25 years of Lego Star Wars brick, but that's not too important. The figure itself is just phenomenal. The prints on him and just the color scheme in general is just really fun to look at. And I love the details itself. It's just a super cool and unique minifigure. And the kind of headpiece here is exclusive to Darth Malak as of right now. He also comes with a really nice cape piece, as well as a red lightsaber, but it's that headpiece that's just super cool. You can see some head printing on the back here, and I will just take off this kind of helmet piece to give you a better look at it. Taking off that helmet piece and the cape, he has this super gnarly print on his face where he's missing the bottom part of his jaw, which is just, it's so wicked to see in Lego. He does have some really nice printing on the back of his head and just back. Now, the other minifigure included in the set definitely isn't as exciting as the Darth Malak, but it is still very nice and well done. We have this R2-D2, which the front is just as you'd expect from any other, but the back print is something new that has been included on recent models, and while it has been in other sets, it's always nice to get that updated figure. Now, R2-D2 also does come with his information plaque, which shows off the name, the manufacturers, the model, and it is printed. Moving on to the build itself, this is definitely a highlight of the set, which kind of says a lot considering it comes with a Darth Malak minifig. This thing is genuinely beautiful, and I think the biggest downside some people may have is the number of stickers. Now, if you're wondering what I mean by that, that's a sticker, those two are stickers, those two are stickers, that's a sticker, and then there's also a sticker right there and two stickers in the back. Now to give some credit, there is this really nice printed piece at the top. And I know some people don't like the stickers, so I did just want to get that out of the way. But once again, me personally, they don't bother me that much. And since we're back here, we might as well take a look at the back, which is really nicely rounded off with just a little bit of detail down here, which does look very nice. We also can take a look at the beautifully rounded off legs for R2-D2 or are they legs? I actually don't know what these are called, but yeah, we also have some nice detailing if, even though there's not a lot of it on the back, there is some nice detailing on the back of the head here, some lights and some sensors for our 2 d 2 Another part I love about the build itself is just these kind of more spherical parts, or not even spherical, but more rounded off parts. I don't know why, they just look super cool attached to them and they're just really well done. Taking a look at the side of R2-D2, there's some more basic but very well done details on the side of that. But the leg here has some beautiful greedling, really giving off more detail on the figure, as well as some kind of wires popping out of the uh, foot of R2-D2, I guess. I don't know what else to call that, but just some more greebling just going along here, which looks amazing. The side of the body also has some nice kind of uh, details on it. And both sides are the exact same, so there isn't really anything different on this side. 
taking a look at the front and i guess if you guys want to see this is what the top of his head looks like but anyways the front of his head has the one eye as well as some really nice sensors one of them being a sticker detail we also have a lot more details packed onto the front we have this part which i really love how it's done as well as some sticker details, which I know if you may not like them, then maybe you're not too happy about that. But for me personally, I think they look really nice. We also have his third leg, which I, every time I say it, it just sounds weirder. But that also does look very nice as well. Now, R2-D2 does have some nice bit of posability on him. The first one being his head is able to spin 360 degrees. And actually more than that, it can just keep going as much as you want. But you can just make him kind of look around, but there's more than just that. You can also take off his third leg. And actually, before I take off that third leg, I did just want to show you that it is really easy to kind of just kind of push him around and make it look like he's actually moving around. So I think that's pretty cool. And that is because of the, uh, I can't remember what they're called, but these on the bottom, it helps it to just kind of glide around on the surface of whatever you have it on. Now, the third leg is off, and R2-D2 does not suffer in any way because of that. He can stand very well on his two legs, and he can uh, even push back and make it look like he's moving like that. Now, it doesn't look as nice to have him moving in this fashion without that third leg, but he can do it. It is a very stable build. The set comes with some additional play features as well, as it includes these nice little builds where you can just add on pretty easily. You just take off these pieces on the side here and then plop the other one right on top of his head, and I'll show you exactly what that looks like. And then when you put these on, they just look super fun when you have them added onto the R2-D2. The nice thing is, too, since they aren't connected in any way, you can put them on one at a time. You don't have to have them all on at the same time, which is kind of an advantage. Maybe you just want to have this on, or maybe you just want to have that on. You can do that. Another fun thing is these are on kind of hinges, so you can push them in if you want. This can also kind of swirl around, make it look like he's scanning the area. Just super fun features. Also, this R2-D2 pairs perfectly with the C-3PO that's currently out. And like I said in the C-3PO video, depending on whichever one comes out sooner, I love this display. It's been my favorite display since I've gotten both these sets, and they just look amazing. Now, this set is pretty interesting to me because I think as something opposed to the C-3PO is it's purely displayability. This one is a lot more play-oriented than I think I thought it would be. There is a lot of stuff to do with the set, and it also comes with that nice minifigure. However, it's also perfect for display. I think this just comes down to your personal preference if you want to spend the money. And for me, I wanted to. This is a 10 out of 10 set to me. I think it's beautiful on display. I think it has a lot of fun features included, and the minifigs, especially that Darth Malak, are perfect. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a wonderful day.